what's up you guys, Aftershare Reacts here. Today I'm going to be reacting to some more Legends of Tomorrow. This is season 6, episode 14. This is the penultimate episode to the season. Um, I really thought last episode was kind of the penultimate, but like the way that it kind of ended. But I guess we'll see how this one ends, I suppose. Um, yeah, because I feel like this would be the episode where they would wrap up whatever the hell Bishop was doing. And then they'd have like a wedding at the end of the episode, probably. Unless, unless like the finale is literally just the wedding. That's it. <laughs> Let's get into the episode. Tell us what happened. We can help you. How many times do I have to tell you I don't want your help? I'm sorry. I'm I'm confused. You said you wanted to start a new life, sans evil magical potion. Do you, do you remember that conversation we had? Oh yeah, I remember. You see, but I had a really good chin wag with Bishop, and then I finally saw the way forward. Please just tell us where he is before it's too late. He's promised to help me unlock the fountain, and that is a promise that I intend to make him keep. So you're just gonna turn your back on all of us? Oh, let's be honest. How can he unlock the fountain? Not really, was I? A legend. Nah, I'm a nasty piece of work and I walk my path alone. This isn't like you. Deep down, I know you truly care about this team. Oh, come on. Grow up here, will you, Gary? I'm not that pathetic so little bastard that you used to know. Yeah, you keep saying that over and over again in different ways. He's stalling. Oh, a ghost! Astral projection. Really? He's not here. Mick, really? If he's not here, then... The legends are on to our rules. We need to leave now. That's John and Bishop. No, 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 no. If it's us against John's dark magic, we're gonna lose. Yeah, but John. Hey, All right, lay it on me. <laughs> What's next, Jaco? Are you gonna help me find another place? Turn around this again. Of Imperium or four? I'm not sure. Oh, I've always been intrigued by the legend of the fountain. Supposedly an enormous source of power gifted by a benevolent alien being. I encountered the fountain once before. It deemed me uh, unworthy. But then if anyone can unlock an ancient alien artifact, that's you, isn't it? Well. I mean, it is the only reason I set you free. And here I thought you just wanted some company. I mean, set him free. He could walk out himself I anywhere. I mean, back. he put himself back. I'm so Without confused. having to rely on pesky drugs. Now, are you up to the task? Or not? Easy with the fire hands, Johnny. I spent a lifetime hacking and editing alien genetics. Believe me, I am just the super genius you need. Good, let's get on with it then, shall we? Stay, stay, don't me. You've unveiled sublayers of alien text hidden within the map itself. Nice. This symbol here might just give us a location of the fountain. You already know where the fountain is. Let's chart the course. We have to go and get the others. How? I can't drive this ship without Gideon. Can you? I don't even have a driver's license. <laughs> it's up to us to stop them. What about time charting? Where the hell are we? 1925? And we're in Texas. No wonder it seemed familiar. Definitely explains the yippee ki vibe. Oh, well, I can help. What, aliens? No. Something else. I, I, I can help. I can help. There's something familiar about her. Is that like your mother? I can't explain it. I think that's my mom. Hmm. Called it. Have we met? We're just passing through. Uh, let me thank you with a hot meal. Wouldn't be a proper address or welcome otherwise. That's right. Her, she said her mom come. was also abducted. Where are you going? We have to find John and Bishop. Uh, didn't come back or something? That, that woman, she's, she's my mom. We're in Odessa, Astra, my hometown. I thought your mom was abducted by aliens when you were a kid. How could that possibly be? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they wiped our memories and they sent her back in time. That would explain why I could never find her. Hey. I know you feel like you gave up on finding her too easily, but I don't want you to get your hopes up. If there was a chance that this was your mom, wouldn't you want to talk to her too? She's like, God damn it. Fine. But maybe she knows something about the fountain that can help us find John and Bishop. Look at these beautiful mushrooms. What about the bloody mushrooms? Right, right. Okay, uh, you don't know this yet. Earthlings eventually discover that mushrooms are actually an ancient alien species. So you're telling me I've had aliens in my mushroom masala this whole time? Think about how weird mushrooms are. There's nothing else like them on Earth. Caps on the ground, just the tip There's of the There's nothing like anything on Earth. organism is underground. What if... Go with me on this. What if... these mushrooms are connected to the fountain? 
That could mean the fountain is, in fact, itself an actual alien being. All of the fountains and mythology is connected to caves and grottos. I thought I was looking for a body of water, but perhaps just like their alien cousins, the fountain cannot rise from the ground. Finally, someone who can keep up! If you can summon the fountain, I can make sure it chooses you. I just need to take some samples back to the ship, and voila! We'll be synthesizing with the fountain in no time. Oh, uh, let's get on with it then, shall we? H have you been here a while? Since I was about your age? I built this house myself. And this dark guy, why is he so interested in your land? He says there's a fountain of oil underneath it. My house is the last parcel of land he hasn't scooped mm. up yet. Fountain of oil underneath it. Speaking huh? of fountains, do you know if there's one nearby? No, sorry. Maybe she was whisked into the future. Where were you from originally? Los Arenales, El Salvador. <laughs> That's my mother. She was a healer too. Taught me everything I know. I never thought I would leave, but my husband Celso, he died suddenly and it was too painful for me to stay. So I came here to make a fresh start with my daughter. Your... your daughter? Hello there. I'm warning you. Mama taught me how to fight. Ah, did she now? Your mama's somewhere nearby, is she? We live just over that way. I was just looking at those mushrooms you're gathering there. Why? Are you a healer? You could say that, yeah. My mama's a healer. That's why I'm gathering these for her. But she's expecting me. I better go. Can I show you a trick? Wow! You're magic! Yeah, I am. Now tell me, have you noticed anything else growing in this forest even more magical than those mushrooms? You're sure about that? This is for you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What's your name? Esperanza Cruz. <laughs> Mama! Ahí está mi esperancita. ¿Por qué tardaste tanto, eh? Mama, I met this man who says he can heal people, just like you can. Good afternoon, ma'am. Another healer, what a coincidence. What a coincidence, indeed. We'll get John back. Be a lot easier if you had a time courier. Why do we even bother taking those things off? Don't even. My eggs are gonna hatch without me. We need a plan. Actually, we do know somebody with a time shift that could help us, Gary. Me? No, not you, dummy. Kayla, I need you to contact her. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a terrible idea. Are we taking a vote on this? I don't know. Hey, Gary. She also needs to know about the kids being born. We need to stop John from doing something more colossally stupid than he already has. Really want to get Kayla's attention? This is how we do it. What the hell? What is that? Zena's fucking it's like com? Hey? What? It's an intergalactic communication device. So no, 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 no. just gonna call Kayla? Are you kidding? She would never answer my call. No. But there's something else we can do with it. Okay. Center him in the photo. There we go. Right. And picture. Tag Kayla. And post. Alright. And now, we wait. For how long? You know, sometimes reception on Earth can be a little spotty. I never got your name. You know what? I, I will say, Gary has been a lot better this season. But I go by Spooner. Esperanza, that's my name too. Yes, and a beautiful one at that. Uh, tell me, what were you looking for in the forest? John. Oh, I was just foraging for some medicinal herbs. Are you sure you weren't looking for something more poisonous? You seem different. What, you mean not overburdened by guilt and remorse? Why'd you show up here with Kid Me? I found her while I was looking for the fountain. And you know what? It's a good thing that I did, because our chance encounter gave me a wee glimpse into your past and her future. Don't trust a word out of his mouth. I don't. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. You know, this can't wait. Like hell it can't. Nuts. What did you do? Never mind them. Come with me. Boys! Miss Pizza, run! Run, mi amor! Those men, they... They, they kill your mom tonight. But you get saved by the fountain of Imperium, you see. It's not just a source of raw power, it's an alien being that whisked you off to keep you safe. It protected you, Spooner. My whole life I thought those aliens took my mom away, but really, it was those oil men. You have a choice. 
You can let history play out as it did before. Or you can save your mother and your younger self from those men. Then Esperanza you'll never be part of the legend. Here. She can have a normal life. So what do you want from me? I don't know what came over me. Where did our guest go? He sends his apologies. He has some business to attend to. Outside. <laughs> What the hell did John do in there? He showed me the truth about my past. The oil men come back and kill Gloria for her land, while Kidmi escapes and is saved by the Fountain of Imperium. So I'm staying here and protecting them both to make sure that never happens. Whenever John is involved, things tend to go south. This is my only chance to make sure my younger self has a life with my mom. I can finally get her back. It That's all that I've ever you wanted. you don't join the legends, you don't help Sarah. I thought you of all people would understand that. Of course, I understand that, Spooner, but... You just gave your blood to John to open the fountain, which is the one thing we are trying to stop. You can go after him if you want, but I'm staying here. We're sorry about the way we had to contact you, but Bishop Solarship and you are the only person that can help us get it back. And why would I help you guys? Because the eggs on that ship are real. And how did you survive? Miracle of childbirth. Bishop acted as midwife and saved Rory's life. Those eggs are gonna hatch soon. I have to go and protect them. Wait, ever since that night on the planet, I've never stopped thinking about you. The eggs might be fake, but my feelings for you are real. It's so weird. <laughs> the only thing I care about right now is getting back my babies. Well, if you wanna get your eggs back from Bishop, you're gonna need our help. What were you little fellas doing in the med bay all by your lungs? It's so on. weird, like... Good thing you have me to keep Big fall in love. I do hope that that's a victory dance, Squire. The groove is all part of the process. Hey, you always got to dance, Don't my dude. Don't you worry. I got the science covered, emo boy. You just make sure your hocus is focused. No, no, you worry about that. I have a surefire way to summon the fountain. What's all this malarkey, then? This serum will temporarily make every cell in your body mimic those of the most angelic, selfless child. This will make the fountain think that I am worthy. Bingo. The serum will go into this, which I will hold on to for safekeeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just let me know when it's all good and ready. All right, Squire. Is this the only gun you have? I've never used it. It belonged to Celso. I don't believe in fighting with violence. I'm sure Doc and I can come to a civil agreement. Nobody needs to get hurt. Mommy, what's going on? Hmm. Uh, here, why don't you read this in the bedroom, okay? You'll be safer in there. No! There will be no bloodshed tonight. There will be if you don't fight this. Why is this even your business? Because I'm your daughter. I lost you once, Mom. I'm not gonna lose you again. My daughter? I know it sounds crazy, but it's me. Esperanza, just all grown up. And because of some insane circumstances, I've traveled from the future to this moment in time. And I know that tonight, you and my younger self get separated for the rest of our lives. Separated? How? When those men attack, I lose you for good. And I escape into the woods only to end up in a different time. Please believe me. I can fix history. I can save you and little Esperanza. Esperanza. And now that, now that I'm here, you two can stay together. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to protect you. Spooner, remember, if Esperanza doesn't go to the fountain, then you never come back to save Glory. I'd rather protect her now so I can become the person my mom always hoped I'd be. If she does that, then my little girl and I, we can stay together, yes? Yeah, you'll stay together, but history will be completely changed. And you'll never meet the legends or help us save Sarah. You'll never become you. Spooner, which means that, which means we never become friends. And I really don't want to lose my friend. I can't let that innocent girl go through what I went through. If Esperanza does go, she will grow up without me, but she becomes you. And, and history will be preserved, yeah? Then Astra is right, and we have no choice. Esperanza has to go. Losing you was the worst moment of my life, Mom. I spent every day trying not to think about what happened to you, and it only made me angry and bitter. I didn't become the kind of person you wanted me to be. Not even close. Yes, and you did. You became that person. You are brave. You have a big heart. You are a time traveler. Whether it's aliens or the universe at play, you being here now is not a coincidence. We were meant to find each other again. Whatever powers took you away, also brought you back to me. 
also gave you a moment with her. Somos salvados solo por la fe. We're saved by faith alone. Stay with Gloria. I'll get Esperanza to the fountain. You know, like, even though it was a very sweet moment, you know, uh, Spooner's mom, you know, choosing to, you know, keep the timeline in intact, I feel like it would have uh, worked a little better uh, if she just kind of like uh, learned a few more things about her daughter before making that decision because like she doesn't really know much about her at all like how did you grow up did you make friends do you have anyone in your life you know all these questions that she just didn't ask and I feel like she should have asked a few more questions that's all Light show. You must have started a chemical reaction which induced a bioluminescent response in the cellular structure of these mushrooms. Can you stop your incessant bloody commentary for one minute? be all right, Mimot. We've got to do what's right. Listen to me, Mummy. Astra, she's going to take you somewhere. Where? Somewhere where you'll be protected. I need you to be brave and to remember everything I ever taught you. Why do I have to go without you, Mummy? I don't want to go by myself. I know, honey. I don't want to either. But it's what we've got to do. And before you know it, we're going to see each other again. And I know you can do it. My strong and fearless girl. We're going to see each other again. I love you the most, Esperanza. Time is up! You better come on out! You've been doing this dance far too long, Gloria. Just sign these papers, and we'll be on our way. I'll say this once. This land belongs to me and to my daughter. And it is not for sale. Why you ladies have be such a pain in my ass? Boys! Like. I, yeah, I suppose because this doesn't matter dream, now. As long as she gets to the fountain. Young girl to leave her mother and her home. I want you to feel the anger, the isolation, the anguish of losing everything you've ever loved. What the hell are you waiting for? Who are you? I am my mother's daughter. And this will never be your land. John must have opened the fountain. Is that where I'm going? Yeah, sweetie, that, that's where you have to go. Won't be scary? At first, yeah. But eventually you are going to find friends and a family. And guess what? You're even gonna see me again. Okay. Come on, sweet. Ask Esperanza, I need you to stay here for a second, okay? Esperanza? I told you to stay out of my way. Hey, John Boy, is she part of the show? Feel it. She's gone now. No, she's right here. With me. Aww. We need to act quickly before the fountain disappears. John, you snake, you swiped the serum from me? Yeah, well, I wasn't gonna bloody well let you take it and have all those powers to yourself now, was I? <laughs> This is fake. I reckon he duped you. I still think you've been duped. 
Mm, he's got a bit of a smile on his face or something. You've been good. That's not exactly the fountain you're feeling, my friend. Yeah. You see, the serum I cooked up did indeed make you worthy. But I also added just a touch of deadly poison. There are the eggs. Oh, well, there's got to be another way in. <sighs> Gideon, are you there? Guys, what is that thing attached to the incubator? Congratulations, legends! You found your ship and triggered this message. Now, I knew the first thing you'd do is try to save these wonderful interspecies eggs. But if you want them, you'll have to play a game I call 48 Pickup. When I open the door, you'll have a scant few moments to gather as many of the eggs as possible before the incubator goes boom, boom, starting now. Grab anything you can to put the eggs into. <gasps> Look, I'm sorry, John. It's nothing personal. You're just collateral damage. Now that you're linked, killing you means I destroy the fountain. Why do you want to destroy it? Why? To destroy the planet, of course. You see, once upon a time, benevolent aliens gifted the fountain to Earth so it would act as an invisible shield to protect the planet from invasive alien species. Yeah, because, you know, invasion didn't I forgot didn't to mention that, didn't I? Once it dies, it's open season on Earth, baby. I've tried saving the planet twice, and humans just keep getting in the way. And now I'm fast forwarding to the inevitable end so I can finally start anew. So what, by poisoning John, you poisoned the So long, Johnny. Mushroom. Something's wrong. Mir, get the, the person. John? Astra, I'm so pretty sorry. Just uh, tell me what to do. There's got to be a spell that can help you. Oh, not this time. You're John Constantine. You always have a plan. You you have a trick up your sleeve. Uh, as luck would have it, I'm all out of tricks this time. You, know, you are my greatest failure and my biggest accomplishment. God, you look like your mom. You'd be so proud of me. So proud. No, no, John, I need you to try. I need you to stay alive. Yeah. Scream. It's the fountain. I killed that last John! What's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats.
If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Did we just lose, like, Mick and Constantine? What the hell just happened? I'm going to have to think about this one for a little bit. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.